Hi, in this Excel tutorial, we're going to go over how to make a timeline in Excel using SmartArt. On my screen is a list of events and the year that they happened. I also added a column where I concatenated the two so that they're separated by a dash, and I'll show you why in just a minute. And also, if you decide that you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Excel tips. So to create the timeline, We'll go to the Insert tab and under Illustrations, select Smart Art Graphics. And you'll see some categories here to the left side. So click on Process. And there's a few options here that'll probably work well as timelines. But I'm going to start with the Circle Accent Timeline and click OK. And let's move this down just a little bit. So while we can't link our data to our Smart Art shape, we can copy and paste it in. So for example, if I copy and paste these first two columns to the Smart Art, we can just paste it right into the text pane and let's make this a little bit bigger. This will populate our timeline, but notice this large space between the year and the event. So if you're okay with that, then you're good. But I don't really like this, and that's why I created this other column where I concatenated them and separated them with the dash. So I'll copy that. Let's come back to the text pane and paste that in. And I like how this looks better. So this circle accent timeline that we chose gives us the option to add a second level to the timeline, which we're going to use here to help us separate the two events that happened in 2016. You can also continue adding tabs and it'll create a bulleted list for your event. But let's get rid of those because we don't actually need them. You can also make edits to your timeline shape. So with the entire smart art shape selected, you can go under design and change the color scheme of your timeline, and you can also change the styling if you want to choose one of these other styles. In the Format tab, you can change the color and styling of your text. And you can also go to the Home tab and change the font of your text if you like. You can also add some styling to your text boxes by coming back into your text area, selecting all. Then in the Format tab, you can do things like add color to the text box. And if you like, you can change their shape to something else. And let me undo this. But let's say we instead just want to switch to a different timeline. So we can come back to design and select a different timeline here. So let's select for this one just the basic timeline. However, this option doesn't support multiple levels of events like our last timeline. You can still create bullet points beneath them, but this makes it look like this second 2016 event is a subset of the first. So let's fix this so it's a standalone event. And so here you may decide that you prefer this timeline, but maybe you want to change the arrow direction. So you can, under the Design tab, click right to left, and this changes the arrow direction, but it also moves all of the events from right to left. So let's undo this. And instead, let's just select our arrow shape, and we'll come to the Format tab, and here, we can select to rotate, and we have rotation options if we want to rotate right, left, vertical, or horizontal. So let's say now we have the arrow pointed horizontal, and this leaves our events in the same order that they were before. Let's undo this. And actually, what I'd like to do is maybe we'll change the shape so that it has arrows on both sides. And then likewise, we can select all of the text like we did before to add color to the text boxes, but this time we'll select Rotate. And we'll click More Rotation Options. And we'll come here to the middle on Effect and select 3D Rotation. 
And here, let's say we want to add a 75 degree rotation to our text boxes. And close out of this. And now our events are angled against the timeline. And like with other shapes, you can add hyperlinks to the individual text boxes if you'd like to direct users to other material. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a timeline in Microsoft Excel using SmartArt. If you did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.